you just don't like Matt Stafford, do you? As if I had something personal against Matt Stafford. And it stunned me, stopped me in my tracks, it offended me. But again, we're in full debate mode. And it's why I love doing this. I don't have time to stop down and talk through my philosophy of what I do and don't do on my show. Trust me on this. From the bottom of my heart, I take this way too seriously, but this is what I'm all about. This is the essence of me. This is what I am made of. This is why I get so emotional about this is I just evaluate a player's performance, period, end of story. It doesn't matter whether I like him or I don't like him personally. It factors nothing into my thought process of evaluating his performance. I might like a guy, and if he plays poorly, I promise you I'm going to tell you he played poorly. I might not like a guy for whatever reason, and if he plays great, trust me, I'll rave about him. It's happened thousands of times, millions of times in my career. I owe that to you. And trust me, I take it way too seriously. I'm I'm not going to betray you. I'm not going to deceive you. I'm not going to sell out because I like somebody or know somebody. I did not get into this business to buddy up to players. I know there are some people that I've dealt with in this business who did. That's the only reason they got into this business. It's not me. It's to a fault, not me. Sometimes my wife, Ernestine, says, why don't you have him on for an interview or him on? Well, he's not going to come on because he's not going to, he doesn't like what I've been saying about him. I don't care. That's not the lifeblood of Undisputed is interviews. It's a debate show. And I don't know how you can debate in full conscience when you get close to this player or that star player or this coach or that GM because you're going to have to protect them. In the debate format, you're going to have to bite your tongue and play dodgeball. You're going to have to sidestep. You're going to have to betray and deceive you to make it through the debate. And I I just don't play that game. I don't care whether I like you or not. I just react to what I see. I say what I see about how you're performing. If you look at my history, Aaron Rodgers, have I been hard on him? Yeah. If you look at my history, how about Carson Wentz, as I call him? I wince when I watch him play. I think he's about to be an ex-Colt. Yeah, I've been hard on him. Andrew Luck, I said from the start, I thought Robert Griffin would be a little better than Andrew Luck, and he was for a year, one rookie of the year, and then he tore his knee up, and that was the end of RG3 or RG me as we knew and loved him. But it just doesn't matter. I'm going to say what I see. So I'm just going to tell the truth. I hope you enjoyed that video. You ready for more? Make sure you click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from The Skip Bayless Show. And don't forget to check out the full episode of the show wherever you get your podcasts by clicking the link in the description.